Hey guys, it's Ifanyama. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. As you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be filling you guys in on all the tea, answering some of your questions. Before I do, do me a favor, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, that's fine. You don't have to make that commitment just yet. But if at any point in the video, you're liking the vibe over here, I will love it if you consider subscribing to my channel. I make videos all about home, life, and style, and I upload new videos every single week. So I would love to have you join the family. I have two other Microlox videos on this channel that I highly recommend that you watch because it'll probably answer a lot of your questions. But you know, just so that we're all on the same page for this video, Video, I'm going to run through some frequently asked questions that I get all the time about my locks. I have my notes down here, that's what I'm looking at. So first things first, I got my micro locks installed on November 25th, 2022. I got them installed by Any Braids, which is a mobile hair service in Lagos, Nigeria. I will also link her Instagram down below. And about my hair type, I have very, very fine strands that are extremely tightly curled. I once had a trichologist tell me that my curl pattern is the curliest that she's ever seen. So um, that's important to bear in mind. I also have very soft hair. And if I had to talk about hair types, I would say that I have a 4A curl pattern towards the front of my hair and 4B towards the back. All right, so how many locks do I have? I have 548 locks. How were my locks installed? I get asked this question a lot. So as far as I know, there are four methods that you can start your locks off with. The first one being palm rolling. So traditional locks that you would see are usually thicker and they're formed by literally just palm rolling your hair together like that. And I think some sort of locking gel or something is commonly used with that method. I think that's more common for larger locks. In terms of micro locks, as far as I know, I've only seen micro locks started off in three different ways. The first way you can start your micro locks off with are by braids. So the typical three strand braids that we do um, they're also called plaits. You could start off your micro locks that way. You can also start off your micro locks using a two strand twists. So literally two strands of hair twisted around and you can start off your micro locks that way. Or you can start off your micro locks using the interlocking method. So with the interlocking method, your hair is literally being knotted into itself in multiple different rotations. I know they're like two point or three point or four point rotations. I don't know how many rotations were used, but my locks were started off using the interlocking method. So if you watch my first micro locks video, you will see a close up of the actual interlocking method that's used. So if you know more about rotations and stuff, you could probably figure it out from that specific clip that I shared in that video. They started off just using their fingers and then towards the end, I noticed that they were using like a crochet hook tool. That's all the information I have as to how my micro locks were installed and I hope that gives you some background information that might help you. How much did it cost for my micro locks to be installed? So I touched on this in my first micro locks video. I highly recommend that you start off there to be honest but just as a ballpark reference it was about 70,000 naira which according to my calculations is about a hundred pounds now based on the current exchange rate for Nigeria which is literally plummeting and I think a hundred pounds is about a hundred and fifty dollars maybe for my viewers watching in the US so yeah that's how much I paid to have my locks installed maintenance and one thing I'm learning about the micro locks community in general is that there's no one size fits all every loctician will tell you something different and of course it also depends on your hair type so you know there's just it varies a lot. Anyway, as far as what I was told by my loctician who started off my locks, who again was Any Braids based in Nigeria, in terms of maintenance, after my locks were installed, we were basically given like a care kit or maybe even before. I think it's just a two pager piece of paper that tells you what to do and what not to do with your locks. So what was contained on that piece of paper was that reties need to be done every six to eight weeks, depending on how fast your hair grows. It also depends on your hair texture. So you're advised to kind of work with your locticians and take their advice on board and adopt a schedule that 
basically suits your hair type and how fast your hair grows. However, they did recommend that the first retie be done at four weeks and then after that you kind of adopt whatever retie schedule works best for you. The other advice that was on that sheet was in terms of moisturizing, no oils, no creams, no leave-in conditioners, nothing like that. But she does recommend that you can spritz your scalp with rose water on a, I think, daily or as needed basis. And then the last thing that was on that piece of paper was to not get your hair wet for the first 10 weeks of your installation, just to let your locks settle. But after 10 weeks, you can get your hair washed, providing you braid and band your hair. So that is pretty much a summary of the maintenance guidelines that I was given. So people ask me this all the time, if this, if this is a permanent style, like how do I change my mind if I don't want to do it anymore? There are so many videos of people on YouTube who have successfully combed out their sister locks, their micro locks, their normal size locks. However, it is an extremely time consuming process and you will lose a lot of hair. So for me personally, I wouldn't do that. If I ever wanted to get rid of my locks, I would probably just let my hair grow out for a couple of months, maybe six months or so. Then I would cut the locks out and I would just put my hair in braids. That's actually how I transitioned to being natural and I found that to be a really simple process. As long as I have enough growth to put my hair in braids, that's probably what I would do. So I got a lot of questions about how I prepared my hair for my locks. So my loctician recommended that you have your hair blow dried and trimmed before the installation of your locks. And obviously that's just so that when your hair grows out, it grows even and that makes sure that your ends are healthy, you don't have any split ends, that sort of thing. So I went to a hair salon in Nigeria called Tasala and I basically had my hair washed. Make sure you tell them to wash your hair with a clarifying shampoo. I had a deep conditioned, I remember. Uh, I remember sitting under a dryer, so I think I had it deep conditioned. And then um, after I had a deep condition, they rinsed out the deep conditioner and I didn't put any product in my hair. So no conditioners, no oils, no butters, no nothing, and no um, heat protectant either. And then they blow dried my hair. And after they blow dried my hair, I told them to just plait it into two. So I cornered it into two all the way back. And then I just left it in that state so that the next day my hair was blow dried and stretched. So I didn't straighten my hair, I just blow dried it. So lots of people want to know if you can retie your hair yourself. Do you have to get your hair professionally retied? You can absolutely retie your hair yourself. Again, there are so many videos on YouTube about people that do that successfully. It's not my ministry personally, so I can't talk too much to it. But yeah, you can definitely retie your hair yourself and you can even do classes where a professional will teach you how to retie your hair yourself. Um, how long did your hair look super straight after the installation? My hair was straight for I think about two weeks, if I remember correctly. Once my hair was kind of exposed to the elements, it just started to naturally shrink up and I think that's what natural hair will do anyway. So I don't remember it being straight for too long. Like my ends started to curl soon after and then I just remember waking up one day and my hair just felt super compacted, like the way it looks now. What's the difference between this style and doing twists first? You can start off your lock journey with twists or with interlocks or with braids. So it'll all get you to the same um, end goal, which is basically for your hair to lock. But interlocking is the method that will get your hair A, looking like locks quickest, as opposed to looking like twists or braids and B, your hair is more likely to lock quicker when you start off with interlocks because your hair is like knotted into itself. That's why people tend to prefer the interlocking method. However, the interlocking method takes the longest time to install and is therefore the most expensive method. So you just have to bear all that in mind when you're choosing your installation method. Okay, so the final question I'm going to answer is how often do you wash and condition your locks? Do you have to wait until retie appointments? So so previously, I have only washed my hair at retie appointments a few weeks ago. It was the first time I attempted to wash my hair myself. I braided and banded my hair. I was really gentle with my hair. And I only took out the braids when my hair was fully dried 
and yet I had so much slippage this time around. So my loctician recommended that I basically only wash my hair at reties, but I am still going to attempt to wash my hair myself because A, it saves money, B, I have a whole bottle of shampoo now and I'm not going to waste it. And also I just don't want to, you know, feel like I can't do anything to my hair. Like I, I like that's not why I decided to lock my hair. I locked my hair because I wanted hair freedom. I want to be able to do what I want to do to my hair when I want to do it. <laughs> So for me, I think where I went wrong was I washed my hair and then I didn't have a retie for another two weeks after the fact. So I left a long window for my hair to kind of move, basically. So what I think I need to do for my specific hair type is I need to wash my hair like the night before a retie or the morning of a retie. Once I've washed my hair, my loctician is you know, able to quickly fix whatever's gone wrong if, with the washing process. And my loctician also recommended that for my actual uh, hairline, I basically braid and band a lot smaller than I would throughout my hair. So this time I braided my hair into about eight braids. So I think I might have like six along the back this time and maybe like another six around, my, around the perimeter just to make sure that there's no slippage this time. No, they didn't do that when they were washing my hair at the salon, funnily enough but I think that might be what I need to do going forward. So hopefully that answers that question. All right, so that's it for me. I hope it was helpful. If you have any more questions, please leave them down below and I will answer them. We can like talk in the comments and I'll probably also touch on them in my next microlock update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe and take care.